Renee Nato here with the head, Warren Easton, Jerry Phillips. Coach Jerry, congratulations. Big day today. This was a special class, wasn't it? It was a real special class, man. Big day. I'm so excited for these guys. Um, they're, they're probably the winningest team in Warren Easton history in a, in a four-year span, man, and, and I'm so excited for them. And, you know, you heard some of their, their stories. They've been through a lot, and this is one of their dreams, and they've reached one of their dreams, and I'm just so excited for them. You know, as a player yourself and coach through the years and all, you, you've brought a special bond with you, Jerry, not only as a coach but a mentor, and you got that special bond with these guys. I do, man, and that's what I tell them. That's what I'm here for. I can, the wins and losses in football is going to come. I want you to win at life, man, and I'm not too worried about I use football as a conduit to life, to give them their life skills, and, and that's what I'm all about. You know, to me, the perfect scenario for me is when they come back 10, 15 years from now, they're with their family, and they're productive citizens, and they're living a good and happy life, because they got to hang their cleats up sometime, but I want everyone to live a good life. You've raised the bar. You've kept it going through the years from Tony Hall, and, and you kept it going. Uh, what can 2018 promise for, for the uh, Warren Easton fans? Um, better things, better things. I told, you know, our goal is always championship of bus, man. You know, I, and I want my guy to start thinking that way, and that's what we're reaching for, championship of bus, and we, we bring him back some talent. We got Lance Lejean, who's probably the, one of the top quarterbacks in, in the country now. Um, my running back, Ashad Clayton, who's actually going to be a junior next year, is real good. I have a cornerback, Chester Kimbrough, who's a four-star cornerback. And I got a lot of other guys that – so we're going to be a team to um, reckon with next year. Jerry, you played here. And, and, you know, New Orleans historically turns out so many players at college and the NFL. Why the Crescent City? Why is this a, such a fertile area? It's just – I mean, that's, that, that's how most of us grew up, just playing football in the backyard and – you know, it, it turned over into this type of thing, and the, and the city is just saturated with talent. It's at every school, man, you know. And I'm here at Warren Easton, but I'm, you know, a lot. Of, I know a lot of the kids at all our schools. I'm so happy for all them guys today, man, because this is big for them and it's big for their family. But this city just puts out talent after talent every year, man. And it's, and it's crazy because all of the schools are right around the corner from each other, but all of those schools are some of the best schools in the state. So it's it's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have. Continued success, great luck in the future, and we'll look forward to seeing you again, Jerry. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate it.